Hello traders, John at StockBoogie.com. Today we're going to look at the SPY, IWM, GLD, Facebook, Netflix, and the USL. Let's get right into the 10 minute SPY. Each candle represents 10 minutes. This is intraday action on the charts. We have moving averages we set here. We like the 20, 50, and the 200 MA. That's what we use to trade technical analysis here at StockBookie. So markets move up right out of the gate. Nice gap down. Of course, they come in, try to save the day. Hits the 20 MA, pauses. Starts to go a little bullish manner. Then it kind of breaks down on this candle, but back into support over here. There's their support back in here off of a pivot. So it falls back. Comes in, tries to push it up again, and again, we filled gap fill up there. We're waiting more in this area to go short, but on the SPY at least. So, comes back in, goes back down below that little pivot, comes back up, kind of chops. In the day, a little bit of selling pressure. Then they come in, maybe a little short covering at the end there. But again, not, not kind of a dull day, 88 million on the, on the day. Let's look at the daily. Again, we were saying, everybody get short up here, get it short up here, you know, or try it up here. 5% here, 5% there. Stop at the all-time high with confirmation. Closes up here, you're done. You're starting to roll over a little bit. Now we're waiting for pattern. I'm thinking we'll still get down in this area, fill this gap, and then hopefully start going sideways then, setting up in next next move down. But we'll see. we got to wait for pattern. Let's go to, you know what, let's go to Apple. That's one I didn't uh, mention in the beginning. But Apple here, yesterday it actually ended up down in this area after hours. So that, I think it hit 19, yeah, right around 22 or 27 or whatever it was. So it never made it there, I thought for sure today. So now we're just waiting for pattern on this. If it starts moving back up, you know what? Up in this area again, we're going to short it, definitely. And hopefully by then, I'm hoping three days up right into this area, we're going short here. We'll use the all-time high with confirmation, stop above it, and then we'll be out. That's it. The higher, the better. So so we'll wait for pattern on this again. You know, everyone's betting on it going up again. So we'll get bullish, 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 push it up into all this stuff, and then we'll go short. All right, let's go to the IWM. <clears throat> Just telling everybody, watch the daily, watch the daily. We had this pattern going up, then we had a little bit of bullishness, and then it Kind of broke down, so let's see where we're at. We, if we get above the 50 MA and the 20 MA and confirm on a daily basis, then you got to think this thing could possibly go up again. If it does, fills this gap and then comes up into this area, right around. Gosh, I don't have, I don't have anything. 128.50 or whatever that might be. Hold on here. I don't know why my tool isn't showing up. But anyways, that, that's what we're looking at up in this area. You know what? Let me put a trend line in there. About 128.24. If it gets up in there, use the all-time high as a stop out, and that's it. Gets above there, you're out. So wait for it to retrace. Let it let it let it get up into this area. Then we'll take another look at it and see what we can do. But you know what? Let's do a little bit of action right here. I don't know. There it is. Sorry, guys. All right. So we have right in this area, the 128.24. Use the all-time high as a stop out with confirmation. But let's put another fib on here. Let's go, let's shorten this one up and go from this side to this side. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, see, so that's why we were we had that fib level here where the green line is, and that's why we were consolidating. It had a tough time getting through that. So, so now we're gonna wait for pattern again. Now this is this is still a little bit bullish. But now we're going down and sideways. So it could be a macro bull with a micro bear in it. So you gotta gotta look at it a bunch of different ways, technically. And once you learn how to read the charts, you start to see things a little bit differently when when you're trading a stock. It's 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 nice. It's a nice feeling, put it that way. All right, let's get into the GLD. Again, if it gets above the 50 MA and the 20 MA and closes and confirms. Gets up into this area, then you got to respect it to gap fill, and then the uh, the little pivot here at 128.24. Take it and use the all-time high, stop out with confirmation. Same thing, blah, blah, blah. Let's look at the GLD. We haven't looked at this one. 
<clears throat> so we got a little bit of volume. They're shaking everybody out at this point. That's when you get a little bit of volume spike because everyone's like, oh my gosh, this, where where is this thing going? Holy cow. But we're looking at the monthly here. Let's see. I'm telling you, right, right here. This is where it's going. And I've been saying this for a while. It's going to go right in this area, right, right around 100 bucks. <clears throat> you got this fib, and if it really starts going me, man, this is going to be an interesting one. This is, this is a monthly time frame. This is a little bit bigger than anything. But it was consolidating around the 113 area. You had a fib, and you had some little bit of support here, too, as well. Look at that consolidation and here. We're breaking down. So, the, wow. <clears throat> This area you could probably start nibbling if it gets down into the 90 area, man. But like I said, I you know what? That that's what this chart's telling me. I'm looking at the big time frame. Daily. Let's let's go back. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's really so you got that little pivot here. And you got this little guy there. That's right around 102. So possibly, but I see how this goes up, retraces, tries again, tries again, and then finally breaks. That's that's a big one right there. 98.83. Write that one down. If it gets in that area, then you got that pivot here as well. Around 96.91. So <clears throat> I'm being cautious. Got to be patient, guys. Like I say, hashtag wait for it. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I want to see a big reversal candle on, on the daily on volume. This is nothing. That's not a reversal yet. Maybe get a little bounce, but then you know what? We'd have to throw another. You know, let's keep that in there. Want to go long, long gold? If it gets below, say, 100, 99. Actually, you'd have to play it around 90, 97 stop out. So do a 5% position now. If it goes back down, if it goes to 100, another 5. <clears throat> and then you got to figure out your stop out, whatever you want to do. But I'm still thinking gold goes down. To this level, right in the 98 to 100 level. <clears throat> it's been set, look at that, down, sideways. Not the best bearish pattern, but bearish. This is the bigger time frame. Takes a little bit longer to set up. Down and sideways. And it was kind of chopping around right there. You know, if you want to look, you know, I started doing this one here too. Started nice, you know, but a little choppy sloppy. But again, it's sideways. Here we go. So we'll see if we get some support in this area. If the markets start to sell, then who knows? You know what? You got a big pivot here. That, that's 69 bucks. I don't know. That that's that's insane. But one day, I'm telling you, right there, 69 bucks. But gold will get a bounce in this area. All right, enough. Uh, let's look at let's look at the USO again. <clears throat> Right there, 1560. We're at 1634. Double bottom. Look at this. Here we go. Went up. See it better on the daily. Man, and here we come again. This this was an area I had a long time ago. It's 1621. And look at that. Look at that bounce. And it's still in there and it's still holding up. It went below it. This this area right here, 1621, is huge. We're heading right towards it again. We start we go we start going lower. I, I think we're gonna see some selling in, in this gold and uh, the markets in general. So that's why I'm saying lower on gold, lower on the USO if you want to go long. You know that that's our opinion though. We got support coming up here, but man, we'll have to see what happens in the next day or so. Got a little bit more volume on this candle, so let's see if we could get a reversal. And get a little bit of volume going on. And that's pretty much it. You know what? I'm going to cut this one short. NFLX. Look at that real quick. We're still up there. Like I said, if it closes below there, we're heading down in this area. If we close above it, we could possibly go up. If we go up. <clears throat> we're going into 125.84. It's shorted around there. Still take a small position because you never know with this one. And then Facebook, too. Facebook, man, at 100, but going into earnings, ah, oh, it was getting close. Again, it's got to close above here, right here. If it, if it could get above that area there, then I think I'll, 
if you were short this, again, in the earnings, don't do it. Next thing you know, you're filling the gap, and you're filling this gap, and you're going down and filling this gap at 82. <laughs> so, again, or it could go to 120. Who knows? Don't play earnings. Again, there's really no pattern other than <clears throat> way extended off the, uh, look at that. Look at that extension off the uh, 20 MA. It, it hasn't touched. It's coming back to the 20 MA. That, you know what? I'm going to call this right here. They think I'm nuts again. Right, right in here. Actually, it's probably going to move up a little bit. You know, 76 bucks. We'll see. It's got to come back to the 20, but eventually, if it keeps going up, the 20 will move up. Eventually, it's got to come back and, and kiss mama. <laughs> so, all right, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the videos I'm creating. It's all based on technical analysis. There's more involved than showing you one time frame. You got to look at multiple time frames when you're doing swings. You look at multiple time frames when you're doing intraday scalps. When I'm posting trades on, on stock twits, if you're going to follow me, I'm that's I'm trying to do it as quickly as possible. So when I'm in a something short, I just go short Apple at do 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 do. You might get a better entry than me. Just keep an eye on it. But you have to have something that works better than like Scott trade. You have to have a level two where you can get in, get out, and, and move on. So again, at Stock Bookie, we trade technical analysis. That's it. Everyone, thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I hope I'm helping some of you guys out there with not playing earnings, 50-50 shot. You know, I can't say that enough, people. You know, and, and, and even if you really have to, go, go tiny. Go 100 shares, 200 shares, 50 shares. Don't get crazy on it. If you make a little money, great. If you don't, great. You're not going to lose big. Anyways, again, thanks, everybody. Make sure you use strict money management. Trade the charts. And... That's all you need to do. Nothing else. Study the charts. Thanks for watching. God bless. See you on the charts.